welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. When I was about seven, eight years old, my parents, uh, they were, you know, very concerned about me and my brother watching too much TV on the couch. And they said, well, they have to do a sport. They have to do music and arts. And uh, my mom, she was a teacher for about 40 years. Uh, I remember in high school, we were, you know, we had to wake up at five in the morning and we had to get to school in San Juan. We lived about 45 minutes away. And uh, we actually end, end up the day in school and then we had to go practice and do, you know, several sports. At, at that time, I think I was running track and then we would come back, do homework, get something to eat and then wake up. And uh, it was a really hectic high school. But looking back, I think they did the best job that they could possibly do. And uh, it really propelled me to, you know, have all those things that I learned and uh, apply them into my career, you know, playing baseball and now, now into music. was always with my guitar, either in my locker room or in the lounge, or I would go into the uh, uh, batting cages, you know, when nobody was there, and I would practice a little bit. So I think it was just, it was more or less a fixture in, in the clubhouse. They, they knew that I was there and I was playing the guitar, and then they, it really didn't seem to bother them a lot. Last semester, I decided to go back to school and uh, I made, did an audition in, in Manhattan School of Music, and they accepted me, and I am currently uh, being a full-time student there. For the most part, the people that are there, they you know, kind of single me out as somebody that did something beside music, but what it really boils down to is, can he really play? You know, does he belong in this school? When I was playing baseball, I would always aspire to have the respect not only of the fans but the respect of my peers the baseball players and my teammates and the opposition they would say this guy belongs here you know we have to make sure that we get him out because he can hit he can hurt us and whatever the case may be there was a certain amount of respect uh, uh, from the baseball community for you know for me because I knew I belonged there and I think I kind of took the same approach into the music school I said I want them to not only see me as a baseball player or a former baseball player, but as a musician. A little story about Mr. Uh, Springsteen. Uh, a number of years ago when I was still playing, uh, I believe Paul O'Neill, one of my teammates, brought him into the clubhouse. Uh, and I had my guitar. I had my guitar in my locker room, and I said, "Well, I'm not going to make him sign a baseball. I'll, I'll make him sign my guitar." And I had a Telecaster, you know, which is the one guitar that he uses. And he wrote, "If you ever get tired of baseball, <laughs> Bruce Springsteen." And then I think about ten years later, I had an opportunity to play on the same stage with him uh, at the uh, Joe Torres uh, Safe at Home Foundation dinner. <laughs> You know, all the other musicians that have played it in the record have been, they're great musicians on their own. And uh, they have been able to, to take the music that I've composed and just, just basically make it sound, you know, uh, just 10 times a lot better than I would ever imagine. And I'm, I feel like I'm always, you know, kind of like very timidly getting in there. And uh, little by little, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more secure of myself. And obviously the school has helped a lot. And uh, obviously I got to practice a lot. Uh, and uh, all of those elements are coming into place and uh, it's, it's uh, overall it's been a, just a great experience for me.